Remy. How uh, how do you feel about my choice to be a rapper slash YouTuber? Is this no comment? No comment? <laughs> no comment? This is not gonna work. What you mean it's not gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. I'm not doing this for the rest of my life. Yeah, you can. You'll get used to it. You look good though. First vlog. It's being finished produced. I had to do it on my girl's laptop because my computer actually can't keep up with the quality of video on my phone because it's used like UHD videos. So I had to do it on her laptop, the Apple. So I actually might have to like switch to that. But for now, I'm just gonna keep bagging off of her. But meanwhile. This movie's on. And for anyone who, like, don't know what it is, Hunger Games was, like, legit one of my favorite series. Especially in high school, because, like... I know, I'm about to fry it. I'm about to fry it. Thank you. <laughs> Hunger Games was one of my favorite series as a book. And then it, it gets on TV, and it's like, what is this? Like, what is this, this mess? Like, it's... It has so much potential, and when I read it, everything that I liked about it, like, it was it was sick, you know? It's like, people were dying, kids were dying, people were impoverished, and, like, you know, it was riots and everything. And this just made it seem like a kid's film, you know? Like, there's, there's no emotion in it. It's just, like, it's everything that I hate about when I watch my own videos. Like, when I see this... I see a reflection of like my own videos because it's like the ideas there, the the right mindset is there, but the quality is like trash. It's trash. It's like I know I got the right ideas, and I know like if I do them right, I can actually get somewhere. But I don't want to be that. Like I want, I want it to actually be legit. Like that's never gonna win best film of the year ever. That's not gonna win. Like, oh, twenty years from now, you should still be watching this video. It's not a classic. It's, it's not a hit. It's made for like the moment. It's not made forever. No one has like forever in my mind. Like, do you disagree? No, but you need to make my mind. It's done already. Only thing you had to do was put the packets in. Anyway. Never, never going to be a classic. So that's how I'm going to fix mine. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> What's up, champ? What's up with you? You know, when I get my apartment, I always, like, I want a dog. Because, like, right now, I have a, well, my mom has a white Riley. His name's Bear, and he's like, you know, friendly, super cool, but he, like, you know, he's rough. Like, he's very rough because he wasn't really trained as a, as a kid, right? You know, like, when my dad still lived in the house. Oh, man. Like, you know, love him to death, but, like, he just, I feel like, Bear definitely could have been trained better. So, like, I want my own dog. And now, oh, Remy is scared to get a Rockweiler. Because she sees mine and she's just like, yo, nope. Too much to handle. But cats, on the other hand. Cats probably is, like, the best way to start off with. Because they're just chill. Like, you know, they're just cool and... They don't really mess with anyone. They just like to eat and chill. Like, I read somewhere they spend, like, 70% of their life sleeping. And I want to be the exact opposite of that, but... Like, how can you hate that? <laughs> Look, man. I don't know how to really explain this or, like, explain why or explain 
how it happened, but all of a sudden I got this certain urge to be a fucking rapper. Like, and excuse my profanity, I think it's I think it's the fact that it's where I am right now. But I just have like no filters, and I'm just like extremely just clear focus. And maybe I should sleep on it. Maybe I should do something. But I'm watching this freaking documentary, right? Or rewatching, I guess I should say, because I've seen it like three times already. And it's like, you know, the other time if I watch it, it's like each time I would be inspired, especially by like this last little bit right here, right? With Kendrick and Rihanna coming in and all that. But, you know, watching these two people on stage, then watching them go off the stage. And it's him just talking to people. And, you know, keep in mind, right? Cole is 20 minutes or was 20 minutes from where I'm from. Or where I am at now, I should say. Like, I was up there in in Virginia for a minute. And then my mom moved down here. And I'm in Cameron, North Carolina. 20 minutes from Fayetteville, right? And this Fayetteville dude, East Coast, was just on stage with this dude, K-Dot, Kendrick. You know, the two debatably hottest people in the game. Kendrick being from the West Coast. J. Cole being from the East Coast. And it's like, I don't want to call them Biggie and Tupac, but they might as well be the new day version of that, right? So, like, seeing them two on stage, that's the equivalent of how it probably was for them people back in the day. Like, I never really felt or understood what that meant when I saw Big and Pac on stage in their documentaries. But seeing these two people in it, you know, that's completely different because I understand I'm going through that. Seeing him with Rihanna, I understand that I'm living that. Like, Faith Evans, I'm like, who that? But Rihanna, like, I got it. Chance, the rapper, I got it, you know. I I got it. Like, I understand. And it's so weird, man. It's so weird. Because, like, right now, like, she's legit talking. Or I don't know if it's that part yet. But, like, she's about to talk about the ingredients to put in his hair, you know. They're talking about his freaking dreads and the things he needs to make it grow better. And, like, this lady, I legit talked about this in my first video, or, like, I watched it a while back, but she won the Humanitarian Award from Harvard, like, freaking Harvard, because, you know, she's been having charities forever. Cole just finished the Dollar in a Dream tour, like, that's the scene that was just going Dollar in a Dream, and I'm sitting here with literally a dollar to my name, like, I have a dollar and 55 cents of Zach to my name, that's what's in my bank account dollar 55 cents and you best believe i'm dreaming like i I got dreams of freaking conquer the world right now so it's so so real because like like y'all don't understand like i legit was on my knees the other day praying you know what i'm saying like praying that i get some guidance or some some, something because like my head i know what i want i know the angle i know the type of things I want to see along the way and the type of things I want to experience during it, but I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing to get there. And then I see this and it's legit. There's so many parallels, man. It's like the stuff is being spoon fed to me. So it's like, this is it. And it's so crazy because you got to understand like what I was talking about in my first vlog, man, like I legit, just lost my license or technically I did it's some stupid DMV stuff about you know paperwork and the, the ticket that I guess I, I don't even want to really get into it but I don't have a license anymore I can't drive my car tags are expired my bumper is falling off I have a dollar to my name and I can't take my car to college anymore because of some dumb stuff my dad has to come down here and pick me up and drive me down with my girl and brother in tow. And it's just, my mom is running out of money. She doesn't have a job right now. And that money is running out. And it's like, it's, 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 if there was ever a time for me to get this motivation, it's now. So like, it's so crazy how, how fast things can switch up. It's like,